this month, I have been more strict on my skin when it comes to protecting it from the sun. And so I pick up at the beginning of the month this one from Avino, and even though the differs looks pure white, trust me, it turns into nothing. Um, it's sweat and waterproof resistant, and it doesn't have any wear sands, which I'm really pleased. I started to notice that my skin was looking quite bumpy and dull, and so I went back to this old favorite from Clinique, and recently my skin is looking so polished and smooth. Scrubbing before I go to bed has helped me wonders to my skin, and I'm so happy that I rediscovered this product. It might be the cooling boost of hydration or how my tired skin looks really awake, but I have been glued to this Mario Badesco facial sprays. I have been using it all this month, and I really love the peppermint and the cucumber extracts that it has. Since I remember, I have always suffered from redness in my eyes, and so when I saw these Lumify eye drops, I was really intrigued to try them on, and so I did, and oh my god, now I cannot stop using them. Here's a picture of me after I using it on my Instagram page, and I love how they eliminate all the redness. Now my pictures look a lot much better. Now, if you know me, you know that I like to mix in my foundations. Now, recently I have been enjoying wearing this Primal Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. Mixing with this Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. If you've seen on the video, basically I use the Rimmel Matte on my cheekbones because it has like a baby soft finish. And then with the Becca, I highlight all those points of my face. If you saw my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial that I did on my Instagram, I actually was wearing a little bit of both. And I'm really pleased with the end results of these two foundations. And now finally, I get the eyelash curlers. I mean, I tried this one from Tweezerman this month and oh my god, now I cannot stop using them. I mean, this was a tool that I needed desperately my whole life. My lashes always go completely straight and as you're seeing on the video, they finally hold up the curl. I mean, I hardly need mascara after wearing them. They were the best discovery I have this month. As you know, hair pins have become a trend now, but I'm not a huge fan of the big embellishment ones. I like more the little dainty and delicates, for example, like these little ones from Forever 21. I like them because they look like a little piece of jewelry and they definitely elevate a look. Another accessory that I have been loving are these small little hooks again from Forever 21. I always have been a huge fan of hooks, but this one, I like them because they're a little bit more dainty, again, a little bit more delicate, and for a minimalistic like myself, they're like a the next little pair of thin that I love to wear. Now let's talk about some wardrobe pieces that have been glued to my body. The first one has to be this Zara Foss leather jacket. Now if you guys follow me on Instagram or if you might have seen my capsule wardrobe video, you might have seen a lot how I like to wear this. I mean, I find so much infinite ways that I can rock this leather jacket. And of course, it has to be because of the fact that it's great quality. I love the embellishment, the oversized field. And for example, for a casual dresser like myself, it works perfectly for an everyday. Or if you like to dress up, I feel like the jacket is just that edginess that you're missing. And then another piece that I have been loving are these Saracino pants. Now, if you see on the photo, they definitely look orange, but they're not. They're more like a brown taupey color. Now, I picked this up a little bit more smaller than usual, but I love it because they look more crop, they look more fit in. And for example, with oversized sweaters, as you see in here, I just love to wear them. They're just like the comfiest thing ever. And another style favorite this month has to be my white converse. Again, if you guys saw my capsule wardrobe, you've seen how many styles I can rock these sneakers. I mean, they're just so relaxed and cool. Like they work with everything. Love them. Let's talk about some ladies that I have been really obsessed recently. Um, the first one is Lauren Gore Island. She actually is the co-founder of Summer Fridays. I mean, I love her because she really gives me mommy vibes. And I specifically love her workout videos, the one that she does with her son. This really motivates me to work out. Another one is Valerie Stereja. She actually has her own shop called Shop Starlo. I mean, this girl is so sexy, so edgy, so fierce. I love her because she really makes me want to be a little bit more daring on my outfits. And her Instagram feed is gorgeous. And then lastly has to be Hannah from Coco Beauty. I mean, she just makes me want to buy a whole wardrobe of coats. Like she always looks really put together, really chic and sophisticated. And I also love her YouTube channel. And lastly, I want to talk about some podcasts that I have been listening to. The first one is Dirty John. Now, this one is a true crime podcast based on the life of John Meehan, who he actually is a con artist and a sociopath. I believe also that Netflix has a film, which I believe Eric Bana stars, which I haven't seen yet. But trust me, the podcast is so good. And then the other one 
Dr. Death, which tells the story of Christopher Dunch, a Texas surgeon who was convicted of gross malpractice after 31 of his patients were left seriously injured and two of them actually died during his operations. You have to listen to these two podcasts. They just will glue you onto your seats. Well, guys, this is it. This is my February favorites. I hope you like this new installment and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye.